In this segment, I'm going to show you how to build a wet mix, what we call the priming mix. This is a, a basic function of method shaving. It's critical to the entire process. There are different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the technique that I prefer. Uh, there are variations to this galore. Do not be afraid to experiment. Uh, I have in front of me a tureen of water. In the tureen, I have my hard soap primer sitting. It's been sitting for about a minute. It's getting soft. Uh, don't leave it in too long. The beauty of leaving the hard soap primer in the water is that it conditions the water. It releases a very, very nice emollient stream into the water, which is a softening and hydrating agent that makes the water, it conditions the water very, very, very nicely. It makes the mix, it peaks the mix better. Uh, it, it traps water more efficiently. Uh, in that way, instead of just using plain, pure water that has been not that has not been conditioned. This is the cloth. This is a brand new cloth. This is the shave cloth that, of course, replaces the action of the shaving brush, but it is still a mixing tool. However, the shave cloth is far more than a mixing tool. It's also uh, a bracing tool, uh, which means it will pick up the beard. It is also a, a, a tool by which it can spread mix. It's a tool by which it can uh, put uh, a cutting balm into the face. It's got multiple, multiple excellent uses. I'm going to go on ahead and put this cloth in here. I want all of you to see what a new cloth actually does. The original cloth, as you saw, was quite large. But as we soak it, and it very quickly draws water, it's just like a shaving brush, it starts to shrink very quickly. Okay, you see that? It starts to shrink on contact. Now this, the break-in on this is only a couple of days. It's actually, by the end of this shave, this cloth will be broken in. So what I'm going to do now, as I've got my cutting balm over here on the side, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to, because I'm using a new cloth, and again, you don't have to do this every day with a new cloth, you're just going to break it in. We're just going to break in today. I want to just show you how the cloth actually shrinks when it comes into contact with water. And also to show you how to actually set this process in motion of, 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 of creating this marvelous priming uh, media called uh, the, the wet mix. Now you've noticed the cloth now, it's got a nice real waxy finish on it, it's excellent. You're going to hold it like a diamond you know, in the palm of your hand right here. And we're going to put that primer, hard soap primer, right on the top of it. And we're going to pour about a quarter's worth, size of a quarter's worth of cutting ball. Now if you'll notice, this is called a sacking technique. What I'm doing is I'm pulling on the corners to sack up the primer. Now the cloth has enough water in it to get this process moving, but if I add a little bit of water, it's going to make a big difference. Now I take the cloth and I flip it to the back side and I sack it up again. And if you'll notice, I'm rolling the soap it's a very easy technique to learn and it's incredibly effective. I'm rolling the soap, I'm twisting the soap inside the cloth. And I come back one more time and I sack it up again. And if you want to add a little bit more water to it to get it to, to peak up a little faster, you can. All right, now our mix is, now bear in mind also, our mix is peaking up very nicely. Once your cloth is broken in a couple of days, this process happens much faster. All right, but set our primer down. Now I want you to take a look at this. The mix is very, it's, it's, it's bulked up very nicely on here. It's thick. It's almost a little bit, uh, it, it's meringue It's excellent. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the cloth just like this. It's a folder we'll called it like folding back a pipe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an, what's called an extraction. And I take the cloth and I open it up and I put the extraction in the middle of the cloth and I fold it over again. Try to get it fairly even, you don't have to be too exact about it. And this is like rolling a shaving brush. See that? It's very meringue. Now what's happening here is this mix is peaking up, which means that it is pulling water into the mix. This will not happen with a commercial media. Uh, commercial shaving products cannot hold water. They cannot. It's, they, they're not blended to do that. Now, at this point, if you'll notice, I'm not extracting all of the mix. I'm going to lay it back in here. I know this is wonderful, silky, wet, uh, fantastic uh, uh, cutting mix here. 
I'm going to fold it back one more time and I'm going to pinch off just enough to cut. So I don't have too much because I don't want to waste any of it. And if you notice, you notice how it's kind of springy. Well, that's water. And this is called a hydrogenic sac right here. Many of you have been through my clinics have seen this. It's a hydrogenic sac and it's full of water. It's like a balloon that's full of water. I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it up. Just It looks just, it looks in, well, it doesn't feel, it feels much better than regular shaving cream, but as you can see, it's very elastic. It's a very elastic media. Look at that. Saying it'll take a blade and you can just cut it like, like you're cutting a candy practically. It just it slices right through it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to feed it up. One, one other point, I can take this mix and I can add some cutting balm to it, fold it over, and I can manually mix it and put it up and get an even better result. So I have mixed in the cloth, I have mixed in my hand, ready to go. And by the way, I can shave probably multiple, multiple forms with this, this much mix. But I don't want to empty the cloth completely because I'll be drawing on it later on and I may want to put water into the cloth and I don't want the water to, to pass through the cloth itself. I want this, uh, this mix to trap it. So what I'm going to do is, in preparation for the next video, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to take this mix, I'm going to put it back in the cloth, and I'm going to fold it up where it's going to cook.